road. Mm. But uh, due to enough effort, we also managed to fight, give, keep fighting until the level we've reached. You know, you were here before, we had just started. Yeah, true. And it was about, the, I think I'd laid about 2,000 bricks. But now, I can assure you we have uh, over, these are about 20,000. Wow. That are still, but uh, there's a, already that phase where we are to burn. So that is about uh, 20,000 a day. Okay. So we have tried to see that within the time of COVID, we don't sit back and say we have been defeated. So we've gotten up, we leave uh, other jobs, we decide to look for other things to do and put in our effort and time and see that we are productive at all times. Mm. So, uh, this is something that can ferry at least a good amount of money, but it always comes with a price. True. Because we definitely we've struggled, but um, we, 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 we had little uh, capital, so we've borrowed it from here and there uh, until we uh, come to manage this. So the biggest challenge we have now is firewood. As you can see, we need the chunks of firewood. Yeah, to burn, burn all this. Yes, burn them. Mm. So firewood may cost us over a million shillings or more. Mm. Then again, arranging them like we arrange also okay. costs money. Oh. This is those are the challenges we face. Okay. But uh, the worst of all that is going to make us uh, reduce is because of uh, the rains. The rain season is here. So when the rains start, definitely you're going to slow down. You slow down, you can make only a thousand and uh, take almost a week and a half to dry them. So after a week, by the time you make another thousand time as well. So we face challenges of that nature. It's all about, uh, you know, all this work doesn't need that you have to use your own land. First of all, as we only bring this dirt, this uh, soil as we can call it or the clay. We bring it from elsewhere and we, we pile it like we piled there. Then we we only use the space of the ground that is not ours. We don't dig anything there below unless we are allowed to. But if we have not been allowed to, we don't tamper with the, somebody's land. So any youth out there who wants to begin a project like this, all you need is to ask whoever has land or if you have your own you can do this now for my sake i'm using someone's land and of which uh, he agreed to give me a certain period of time then when i'm through i have to leave but he, given circumstances he may he also needs to use his land within a month or two from you know uh, shortly so i need to rush all this project finish it within one and a half months that i've been given that I, uh, he can also come and you know continue with his uh, projects and uh, as I get mine off. Mm. So uh, as per now, he, we've gotten uh, letters from the LOC, uh, notices telling us of how and how much time we have so that we can uh, <clears throat> not go beyond that given time as, uh, so that we don't clash with the owner of the land. So, mm. We don't sure. need to test his patience, mm. so we have to work hard and you know leave the place before anything goes out of hand. Sure. What I would tell uh, uh, youths or people that have uh, any effort, so and all who want to start a project of this nature, uh, all you have to have is the drive, self-drive, the feeling that you want to do, and to involve yourself in whatever uh, is to be done like I do I come here early enough help on uh, start feeding the, 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 the soil uh, gathering it putting it for whoever is to mold and the, it continues from there so definitely don't look at such work or just such projects and say these are meant for an uh, illiterate people or meant for people who have uh, who have failed in life no, this is a project that can be done. Even degree holders can come back down here and do this. And it ferries uh, 
a good amount of money. But I told you this is a tax-free uh, business. Mm. Nobody is coming to you to tell you we want a license for you to do this. So definitely we escape some taxes and do certain jobs. And uh, you know you can have your uh, degree or your white collar job somewhere, but you do this as a side income. performing artist, do visual arts as, as you can see around, and also do performing. I'm a musician as well, currently working with Gagamel International. Yeah, I love people, I love being real, and simple down to earth, I'm fourth out of uh, five ch six children. Yeah, and, um, simple down to earth. I love reggae, you know, that's the fact. I mean, um, um, music and art have always been a part of my life. A little bit of boy, you know, music uh, from, from my uncle singing, having a band, and my mom is singing in church, you know, and all that always encouraging me to sing. And my mom also uh, do a lot of craft, craft work, you know, so I guess it carry on from, from that, you know, up to today. And also, but uh, to take on this professionally, seriously, uh, to start this uh, art shop, I think it's about four years now. The fourth year. Well, in this workshop, well, um, well, more to that, uh, the art that I do is commercial. Yeah, I, I, I'm a commercial artist, I'm a commercial art at Kuba University, so it's, it's wide, and therefore I could do any kind of art. So I can have someone coming in and taking an order from t shirt print to, uh, to bamboo cups like this, you know, to, to bracelets and necklaces, to to science, to branding, to concept development, to um, you know, uh, little chairs, to uh, two seater, all that kind of thing. We've, we've, we've um, ventured into shirts before. We've designed some few people, and we have to bring it back and take it on. But that's a little, a little bit of what you can have. Well, um, first and foremost, you see, art is seasonal. Art is seasonal. You see. Few people that uh, really appreciate art down here in Africa. Uh, most of the artists are taking by tourists, you know, people that are coming in like that. And, um, as you see now, right now, this is, this is COVID, so everything is going down. We don't have tourists, we don't have. So, this, this is a very big challenge as well. And uh, we also have people who come and say, Oh, I need this, make me this, make me that. And then you have it done, and they never pick it. So, well, also adds, it needs also capital, you know, you really, any, any business you've got to keep, you've got to keep investing, no matter what, you've got to keep pushing it, so, yeah, there's quite a lot of challenges, I want to say a few, as you know, as a, as a business person, so, we, we have always had savings, we always have to have some savings, so what people are doing, yeah, they are surviving on that, people are surviving on their savings, people are, doing away with some few things that they've had, you know, to survive, keep the families going on, you know, sell this, this and that. And others have friends who are maybe well off and they can bail you out in some few things, some people, you know. Yeah, but um, luckily enough, that uh, there's, there's some few people that still uh, interested in some things. We still have a few coming in, even in the COVID. So, mm -hmm. I need mean, five shirts, five t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Then after maybe some uh, about three, four weeks, someone comes, you know, I need this. Uh, so there's still some very small sales going on, but you know, if someone knows how to, to use that money and so on, go on, that's how we're doing it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would tell the youth to believe so much in what they're doing. You know, have faith in that. Keep going on, you don't give up, persist and insist. Um, you know, just work hard. Hope and pray. It's the only way, you know. These are the tough times. But that's the way we have to go forward. And keep pushing, keep innovating. And, and learning knowledge. And you just keep discipline. You keep discipline and, and respect.
I'm a Ugandan, I'm an artist. I work with bamboo, I draw, I paint a little. I'm, I'm also a musician, I love the music. I, I do the reggae dancehall music. I love to swim, I love uh, football. I'm a Chelsea fan, matter of fact, if you cut my veins, it's blue blood that comes up. That's yeah? Funny. I, professionally, ma mainly what I do is bamboo. Uh, I fell in love with the bamboo in, um, in 2015. That was after school. I was looking out for something to do, and you know, like since there is there's a scarcity of jobs in uh, in Uganda, I, I tried to find something that I can do by myself. So I decided to do the bamboo. Um, that that was in 2015, and that is what I've been doing like for a while. And I I love to do it because uh, it's unique, it's different, and it has very many things that can be done with it. So. That's what I do basically, but I also do other 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 works like uh, like screen paint, screen prints on, on shirts, uh, a little painting here and there, self portraits. I draw a little. Basically, the, the art is, is where I, I I do almost where I I, I make a living from. Yeah, yeah. The, bread the, the bamboo, the bamboo is where I mostly I get the bread from. Uh, when I started, um, it was it wasn't easy because uh, I didn't I didn't have no idea about it. I didn't have a lot, so I decided to make a little research uh, off the internet, ask a little the carpenters that that because somehow it has to do with carpentry here and there. And then uh, I also got an opportunity. I went to the Uganda Industrial Research Institute in Nakawa, where I, I learned a little skills here and there, and it helped me better my work because uh, there are very many things that I didn't know and that I got I learned from there at uh, Uri. So since then I've. Uh, I do different products. I make tables. I make uh, I make ch beds, chairs. Uh, I make uh, little pieces of art, cups, plates. Um, name it. Very many things. Are uh, little fountains here because that's what that's where I'm engineering. I want I want to start making movable things, like functional things out of the bamboo that can help the community. Uh, lately, um, I want to embark on a straw activity making straws, biodegradable straws, instead of having these plastics that are going to degrade our, our, our environment. We, we should, uh, maybe, I was thinking if we got, if we got biodegradable products from the bamboo, because you know bamboo is hollow, it has those hollow properties, so if, if you make a hole through and then use it as a straw, if you don't want to use it, you can throw it away and it will, it will rot and, and, and go, back to the soil. go back to the soil. So, beginning, um, the challenge was uh, first of all getting the bamboo because uh, um, it's not that I had a plantation or anything like that and given the fact I stay in a table place where it's mostly urban, it's very hard to find the bamboo. And then uh, also the machines themselves, the tools that I had to use to like to, to start and make the bamboo work, like work, to do the work, make the finish, make, uh, make from the start. The tools that I need like uh, the saws, um, the pangas, the glue, name it. Also, the fact that uh, the bamboo itself, not not very many people knew about it. So, getting that knowledge on how to do it and how to go about it was also was also a challenge. When it comes to where I've gotten, bamboo has a wide range of things you can do. Like I've told you lately, I've just discovered that just like you can make straws out of it. There are very many things that people have made out of bamboo. People have made bridges. People have made shopping malls, people have made uh, big, big things, even the small ones, the small arti artifacts like, like uh, gifts that you can give to somebody, small, small things. So bamboo has a wide range of things that you can make out of it. So you, I can't say that I've reached where, where I want to be. I'm, I, if, in matter of fact, I think I'm just, I'm just on the top. Yes, I'm just getting get started. started. Mm -hmm. Because uh, now, like, if you take a look at this, this face, I made it in 2015. But uh, it's still strong the way you see it. Yeah. But I've seen other designs and other makes of fences, and this doesn't compare anyway to what I've seen. And of course, when this when this gets depleted, and then in the future, I hope to make better things. So, what I'm saying is, it's just it's just like the start. I'm telling you, I've done I've I've, I've done something, but there's still a lot more to do. Bamboo. I decided when I found the bamboo and I, I saw the things that bamboo can do, I decided bamboo is my future. It's my future. Bamboo is my future. It's what That's I'm going to do. You're going to specialize. It's, it's yeah, specializing. Specialize it's going to be my retirement plan. Maybe something I can tell other people. Maybe the youths themselves and other people that want to do something. First, have the love for it. When you have love for what you're doing, somehow you're going to find a way. 
the COVID came and then there was uh, there was restrictions here, there was lockdown, even the resources came down a little. But because of the love, you would find you find a way. Uh, I remember there's a time when we used to like before we would carry we would put cut down the, the bamboo and put it on trucks. But remember then cars were let down and so transporting was a little was a little issue. So we had to carry the bamboo physically. Right. You understand? We would carry it on, on, on our shoulders and, and walk about uh, about two 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 miles with it. But that is all because of the love and of course the things that we hope to get out of it in the future. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, another thing I by the way I forgot to say uh, recently I was elected uh, the youth general secretary oh, wow, that's lovely. for Manyago One Village. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, the people that voted me, even the ones that didn't vote me. Thank you very much, anyway, because uh, it shows that you're participating in the what, in the, the policies and decision making of that of your country and, and what 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 how it affects you. So um, the youth, like I say, have love for what you do. Um, don't don't think of starting big. Don't start. If you start small, that is good enough. Start from start from whatever you have. You're going to graduate slowly by slowly, and then you'll get there. And then uh, pray, because God God is the God is the first thing. Put God first. God is going to bless you. He knows He knows your heart's desires. And then uh, and press, because there are times when things are going to seem very hard and seem like like you, you can't go on anymore. But just just one more step, one more step, one step by step, then you'll get to the finish of the.